Here is another good reason why we freelancers should always take the job interviews. I am learning to thrive in the gig economy. Would you like to learn too? I'm out of state in, in a hotel. I just finished the first day of a two-day workshop and I'm back in the hotel now. And what I'm doing is I'm putting together a follow-up to a job interview that I did a few weeks ago, which I mentioned I wasn't so sure I wanted the job, but I figured I'd take the interview because I think it's good practice to do so. And I did a video on some of the reasons why it's always good to take the interview for freelancers. I, I, I can link to that down below. I'll link to the previous video. But I wanted to show you something that happened after that interview that is a reason to always take the interview. I actually made the final cut for this job. And what they did was they sent me some questions, follow-up questions that they wanted me to do. And these are great questions to think about. I just want to read one or two of them so that you get the sense of what they are. Please tell us something you've done in the past to encourage interaction among your group members. Give an example that highlights your ability to build action plans. Or how about this one? Tell us about a time you found it Difficult to keep a promise to another person in your organization. What was the final income outcome? Now think about those questions for a moment. Those are all good questions to think about because they're the type of things that illustrate who you are. And if you can answer those kinds of questions regularly when you're talking to people, when you're out at a party, at a networking event, you're going to start to see them understand the type of personality you are, the type of person you are, and that's going to enable you to gain more confidence with them. You, they're going to start to feel more comfortable with you, and hopefully that's going to lead to better gigs. So what you want to do is, when you go on these job interviews, you want to pay attention to these kinds of questions that you're being asked, because these are the types of questions that people in your industry are thinking about and want to know a little bit about because they're trying to judge you. And as you learn those questions that are being asked, it's going to make you more effective when you're trying to pitch yourself and market yourself as a possible alternative to a full-time employee. Now, in this case, I don't know if the, the company even does freelance work for, that would be willing to consider me. But I'm going to answer these questions, and you know, at some point we're going to have to talk about whether or not I can do some work for them. But the very fact that I was able to get these questions and now I can think about them and I'm going to incorporate some of these into my preparation for when I'm meeting people. Because if I get these questions again, I'll have something prepared already. So there's another reason why you should always take the interview as a, a gig economy person, as a freelancer. If you've thought of any other reasons to always take the interview, I'd love to hear them. Please put them in the comments down below. If you've got any ideas on how better to prepare when you're meeting with people, that'd be great too. I'd love to hear those. Please like and share this video. YouTube really wants to see that. And subscribe so that you don't miss any other videos coming down uh, in the future.